Today's video is sponsored as always by the Illuminati. Duplicate your second clip. Select to change the clip speed and check the freeze frame box. Go 12 frames back from the end of the first clip. Adjust the duration of the freeze frame to 12 frames also. Make it a new fusion clip and open it in the fusion page. Bring a polygon mask in empty space and drag a rough shape around your subject. Once your mask is done, connect it to your clip. Select your clip and bring a matte control node after. Change the combine mode to alpha, set the operation to subtract, and check the post multiply box. Bring a polygon mask in empty space and connect it to the green point of the matte control. Draw a shape around the first part and check the invert box. Make sure that you are in the third frame, add another polygon mask and change the paint mode to subtract. Draw a shape for your second cut. Activate the keyframe button for the level slider, go one frame backwards and set the level slider to zero. Go to the frame six, add another polygon mask, change the mode to subtract and draw a shape for your next cut. Activate the keyframe button for the level slider, one frame backwards and bring the level slider to zero. Repeat the same process for every cut that you want. Once you are done, select the matte control and add a merge node after. Bring a paper texture into your flow and connect it to the merge node as a foreground. Select the merge node, adjust the size to your liking, change the apply mode to screen and set the operator to in. Go to the settings tab and uncheck the alpha channel. Select your paper texture, add a brightness and contrast node after and adjust the sliders to your liking. Once you are satisfied, go to the effects library, under the templates, edit, and bring the paper edge node after the merge node, and your transition is ready. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, there is no other option for you.